Yo, 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 it is Deej here, and we've got some MW3 sniping gameplay. Wow, that was weird. Uh, but yeah, don't go anywhere, this is awesome gameplay. The, especially this first one, it's two games, this first one is super quick, it's like three and a half minute on a free-for-all. Um, but yeah, this is just some background gameplay, because I was trying to think of a discussion uh, to talk about, and I got sidetracked on Twitter for like a half hour earlier or so, and so I came up with this idea... Um, at first I found the topic, and then I came up with the idea afterwards that I want to maybe do a weekly show, and hey, it's just, it just happens to be on Tuesday. It could be Twitter Talk Tuesday or something, right? What? All right, I just keyed it right there. Uh, but anyway, first topic that i seen on Twitter, and it, I'm probably going to stick to one topic per episode if I keep doing this. Uh, so let me know in the comments below if you guys are Twitterers. If you are, follow me on Twitter at XXXDeej, and then you will find me there. I mostly... Um, I mostly follow gamers and a couple food people, but there's a handful of celebrities, like two, three, four, hand, I don't know. It's under five celebrities that I follow, and one of them is Joe Rogan, uh, at Joe Rogan. Um, if you're unaware of who he is, he's a commentator for UFC. Um, he was in Fear Factor, you know. He, who doesn't know Joe Rogan? Come on, he's a crazy uh, comedian. But uh, something that he's been talking about the last couple of days that caught my attention, and yep, we're going to talk about it first show, trannies. <laughs> Who didn't know that, right? Uh, but anyway, uh, something he's been talking about and getting some hate uh, about uh, from, I don't know, maybe tranny community or activist feminists, I'm not sure. Uh, but his topic is, um, there is a transgendered woman, used to be a man, is now a woman, um, MMA fighter out there. I think the name was Fallon Fox. I seen the name, uh, Chick like face, you know, um, more than dude face, but a very built dude body, right? So the topic was that they want to fight women in MMA as, as you know, the, the, very controversial. Um, was a man is now a woman taking, you know, uh, estrogen. Um, I believe went through the whole operation, you know, lopped off the, off, lopped off the junk, uh, the dilly wanker as some kid in this room would say. There was funny, there was this, uh, British kid in this room, like 15, saying Dilly Wanker and stuff. It was, it was freaking hilarious. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so Joe's point, you know, but he supports him 100%. And that, that, here's something about Joe Rogan that I, that, uh, that's the reason I follow him um, and, and, you know, listen to what he has to say and watch his podcast is the dude is spot on. Uh, oh, get turned on, bro spot on with just about everything you know what I mean like like if I had to choose one person to run the run the United States or something it'd probably be Joe Rogan because dude's a super solid humanitarian like you know uh, I just don't disagree with him I, I don't know if I ever have okay so let's get to the point god damn it um, his point is the woman or the transgender was born a man you know when you're Born as something, you know, whatever you want to do later in life, you know, that's that's the one point he made. 100% support someone for doing that. Uh, what What is wrong, though, is they only want to fight women, and they're, it's not fair, because when you're born with a certain bone structure, a uh, certain set of joints, ligaments, you know, your whole body, uh, a man is born much more durable and built than a than a woman is and whatever you do down the road doesn't change that i mean yes some things change and your 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 hormones change and your appearance changes but your bones the things that that a fighter uses does not change you know what i mean um friend for what i heard this person has has already had two fights against women and and just obliterated them in the first round so I mean that alone says something you know there's fighters that will do that but when you're a transgender going up against one, uh, women and that happens that means something you know what I mean um, I've seen uh, quite a few uh, uh, biological women fighters and yes they're very strong and buff but they do not compare to men fighters not at all um, you know they're going against nature to be those fighters whereas where men are not um, you know, I'm not saying that women shouldn't fight or, or whatever, or should, you know, do the whole woman role. What I'm saying is nature doesn't build them that way. Um, and so for this, this, what used to be a man is now a woman going, I, I, I worded that wrong. That was kind of, that was kind of insulting. I don't mean it like that. Um, when, when you're, when you were a man and you're now a woman or whatever you want to call it and you want to fight women, uh, 
that's not fair. Uh, and so anyway, the point uh, that I guess I'm getting at is Joe's getting all sorts of hate from uh, uh, activists, feminists, wh- whoever wants to say something on Twitter. And I, I just don't, I don't think it's right. I think they're blindly fighting him um, and, and, you know, just trying to make a scene. Now, I'm sure, like I seen one person that uh, said something to him, he retweeted it. And now this... Uh, this person's getting a, a lot of hate. Now, I can understand um, where that's not technically right. But, you know, you shouldn't have blindly said something to a guy that has the death squad following him, you know. Uh, if you're not aware, that's that's like uh, his Twitter followers. I guess he, it's the death squad. Um, comes from the podcast. Pretty good podcast. You guys should watch that sometime if you like him and his ideals. He has good guests on here and there. Um, uh, I've watched, you know, a good handful, five, six of them. But I just started following him a couple months ago. Uh, anyway. Uh, how do you guys feel about that? I mean, what, what do you think? I mean, should the, should, the, should the tranny be allowed to fight anybody or whatever? Should they be stricken to fighting men because they were a man? I mean, that's the way I feel. If they want to be an MMA fighter, I'm not saying they shouldn't fight. I'm saying they shouldn't fight women um, because uh, it's, it's, uh, like, uh, that's all I can say is it's not fair. And, and, and biologically, it's not fair. Um, so uh, leave a comment in the... Uh, yeah, leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, you let me know what you feel or think, and uh, follow me on Twitter if that's your thing. And uh, you can find me at Triple X Deed. You know the at sign, Triple X Deed, just like my name here. And uh, yeah, I'm getting more into that. Um, totally. Uh, yeah. So what about the Chinese man? <laughs> um, so yeah, I got a couple more minutes left here. Um, I'm I'm mind blocking. I can't believe it. It's payday. I know that. I'm going to go to work today. I'm going to get paid. I'm going to come home, drink a sixer, and then tomorrow's my day off, so I'm probably going to try to go do something. Maybe go see my mom up at her house or take some lady out, or I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, what I won't be doing is fighting trainees. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, just to cap that, uh, that's my main thought on it is, is just like Joe, I 100% um, support someone to to do whatever they want with their body as long as it doesn't threaten their own life, you know, or well, someone else's, you know what I mean? Uh, that who who can do something with their own body that'll threaten someone else? Though, you know what I mean? Um, don't don't kill yourself and don't uh, you know cut an arm off just because you think it's cool or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. But uh, support someone for doing whatever they want. They want to be a man, woman, do, regardless of how they were born, whatever. Uh, but um, when you're when you're when you're naturally uh, more dominant than a certain sex and you then want to fight them that's not right regardless of what operation you've gone through or what um, uh, hormones or drugs you take you know it, it's not right that was a nice reaper shot there uh, so yeah I guess that's my only point and uh, it caught my eye because you know I read past it yesterday but then today I'm just seeing this onslaught of, of hate that Joe has been getting um, from people because uh, it kind of blew up online because it hit, what I seen was a podcast of him talking about it and then so you know the media online and blogs and stuff blew it up you know people um, attacking Joe I guess were you know it, and if you watch the feed you can see how he's sympathetic and, and you know supports them for doing what they want I guess I'm saying that again but then uh, just doesn't want them fighting women. And it's like, how can someone not see exactly what he's saying? And it's, it just seems to me like people are blindly fighting him for the sake of getting attention. Maybe they're trannies too and it hurts. I don't know. I mean, because I, I could understand if, if you were a tranny and someone is sitting there like being controversial about it, you could get offended or something like that. But if you step outside of it and look at just what's being said in the facts, I don't see how you couldn't agree with it. You know what I mean? Um, he, like I said, he's not hating on them for doing what they want. He's hating on them for wanting to fight people that they're obviously more dominant than. Uh, this is my first Twitter talk. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Follow me on Twitter. And let me know if you want to see more series like this, more sniper gameplay. Shot him in the dick. Um, yeah, so give it a like if you like it. Um, you know, all that. And subscribe if you haven't. Word up. Peace out. Deuces. Thanks for watching.